This video is going to look at the Envelope tool. Uh, it's one of the most useful tools in Audacity in terms of uh, being able to work with multi-tracks and be able to blend together the different elements of your recording. So you're going to have music, you're going to have sound effects, you're going to have voice. Now how do you blend them all together and how do you have background music? Well that's what the Envelope tool is for. So here's a common configuration for the introduction for a podcast. You've got introductory music which is up here, that's the two stereo tracks here, well, that's the, the stereo track with the two left and right elements and you have a mono voice track as well. So at the moment the voice is playing at the same time as the music but the music is at the same volume as the voice. So let's hear how that sounds. <laughs> Hey and welcome to the show. This is the Audacity Podcast and we're going to be looking at everything that's happened in Audacity in the last week. We're looking at new additions, new updates, new plugins. Okay, so let's get started. So as you can tell, that's not too much use. You can barely hear the voice uh, over the top of the music. But we don't want the music to be uh, quiet the whole way through. We could obviously just make the music a little bit quieter using the Amplify tool and sort of de-amplify it, but what we want is for the music to be loud at the start and then quieten down when the voice is playing and then get loud again towards the end. And that's what we use the Envelope tool for. So this is the Envelope tool up here, it's a blue line with two arrows either side of it. Now when you click it, you can see that suddenly the, each of the tracks has a kind of a dark blue line at either end and uh, sort of grey banding across it. Now the way it works is that you decide where you want the music to start quieting down. So I want it to start quieting down maybe about a second before, maybe about half a second before the start of the voice. So I'm going to click right about there on the music track. And you can see that there's a dot appeared there. Now I can move that dot up and down. And you can see that that's actually, it looks like it's making it quieter. And it is. So if I left it like that, that would make the music very quiet. And it's like that because there's only one dot there. What I can do is if I make it loud again, so that's at maximum loudness, and I just click again a little bit after the voice starts. Now it makes a second dot. Now what I can do is I can move the second dot and the first one stays where it is. So basically what it's saying is that I want the music to start at this volume at the start, play along, play along until it hits the first dot and then I want the music to change in volume, in this case going down towards the second dot and then I want it to be constant beyond that. And you can move both of those dots around to change the volume and it's very visual so you can see that this first dot it's quite loud there, that's making it quieter, quieter, and that's making it loud again. And you can see the sort of the ramping of the volume. So let's make it like that. So that looks like it's quite loud at the start, it's quite loud and then suddenly it gets quieter, 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 and then it plays in the background for a while. I'm going to bring that back a little bit. And you can make that nice and quiet. So there it is playing in the background, but you can see that it's nice and quiet because it's very small. Now I'm going to go along to the end, I want it to get louder again towards the end, so I'm going to click a dot at where I want it to start to get louder. I'm going to click there. Now that's going to stay where it is. And I'm going to click a dot at where I want it to be its loudest. So I'm going to click there, there's the dot, and then I'm going to drag that up. And you can see that can move it around. There we go. So that's why it's called an envelope tool because you're creating an envelope within which the music or the sound is, uh, the volume is set. So it's coming along, it's a big envelope here, so it's nice and loud, then the envelope gets smaller and smaller and it, it, the audio is squeezed into a small envelope so it's quiet, it's quiet, it's quiet, then the envelope gets big again towards the end. So that's all we need to do. Now, if I go back to the start, let's play it and hear what that sounds like. Hey, and welcome to the show. 
This is the Audacity Podcast, and we're going to be looking at everything that's happened to Audacity in the last week. We're looking at new additions, new updates, new plugins. Okay, so let's get started. Easy as that. So that sounds a bit more professional, sounds quite good. The voice is playing over the top of the audio, uh, but the music is nice and quiet. So that's how the envelope tool works. You can do that on any audio clip at all, voice, sound effects, music, and you'll be using that all the time to make sure all your stuff blends in. So I hope that was useful to you, and thanks for listening.